That is good news actually, because now we're ju not just cranking the performance up, putting bigger turbos on these chips, cracking some more nitrous on it, making the cylinders bigger, putting more boosts. No, not really. We're trying to evolve. We're trying to make it a little bit more clever. Now it's still hyper threading on it. So it's got big performance cores with two threads per core. Whereas on the Intel, Intel now skipped completely multi-threading. There's only single threading on all of the P and E cores, which is interesting. Max PCI generation, PCI5. There's PCI lanes, 24 lanes on each as well. DDR5 in terms of cache. It hasn't changed L2 cache either, but I found very specific in somewhere in some specs, I can see that the L1 cache has actually changed from 64 kilobytes to 80 kilobytes. So the fine, fine first fastest cache in there has actually increased. The base power hasn't increased at all and the turbo power has actually come down. And we'll talk about the power draw a little bit later, but you can see 7950X was pulling 230. Now we're around 200. 